What are you up to there, Kuzo? I'm trying to boat. You're making a boat? Okay, all right, give me a second. All right, where's that piece going to go? What are we doing with this? Like that? Okay. It is heavier. Can you manage? Wow. What's your shark doing down here? I'm going to try and make a boat and a shark making, making um, a swim. It's swimming, Paul. Where's that piece going to go? Yeah. That's a huge piece of wood. Wow, that's huge. Was it heavy? Yeah. Okay. All right. That's got to get on with that roof, Crusoe. Yeah. Uh, You're gonna come and help. Yeah. Train me. That's your boat that you're building, buddy. There's your look. There's your jigsaw. You need that. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, Crusoe builds his boat and fiddles around with his jigsaw. I think my job this morning is going to be to take that roof down again. I think we need a little bit more coverage. Brilliant. Over the top. So actually, I'm not going to take it all down. I'm just going to take down one end. I, instead of it going like this flat, I actually I'm going to do it like this. So it kind of comes in like that and and the shape ultimately i think will look a lot better look at this we're up in the clouds this morning it's beautiful really special day in about one hour's time it's going to be blazing hot sunshine here Over the last year on our farm, John has worked tirelessly to build us a place that we can call home. From a beautiful little coop for our chickens, to a home that holds our memories and family. He's converted an abandoned outbuilding into a home office and guest room. He's laid pipes across fields and crafted a lawn and garden that dreams are made of. And finally, he's building us an outdoor living and kitchen space that's become something of a work of art. Each week, you all send the most incredible comments praising his work and expertise. But this, folks, is a bit of a broken man. John's shoulder, for the moment, has asked for a break. I can't do it. I am broken. Yeah, it's so sore, man. All the way across here, I got pins and needles in my hand. It's not good. I think there's only one thing for it. Yeah. Gonna have to stop. Yeah, that's what you said this morning, hey? I'm gonna have to pause because the wood is heavy, but I really want to go down a little bit later in this episode, um, guys, and just talk you through some of the ideas that I've been having while I've been working down there. There's a lot of real natural beauty around that area, mm. and I think it would be a really great idea just to share the future of that project, how I have it in my head. So, what are we gonna do instead? Well, there are loads of unfinished jobs that need doing. I've got to seed some melons and cucumbers to dry the seeds for next year. There's lots of vegetables that need picking, so you can just be like me for the day. Yeah. <laughs> Come do my jobs. <laughs> All right, so first job today. Veggies. Veggies, let's go up there and have a look. We've just got back from a trip to Madeira, mm -hmm. which is what the suitcase last episode was all about. Yeah, and we did have every intention of filming a little bit of it for you guys anyway, 
to be honest, we just put the cameras down and had a holiday. Okay. okay. Let's go and get those veggies. Let's go and get those veggies. Cool. Hey, wait, look. We need a basket. I think it's going to be a two-basket haul today. Great. Let's go. Okay. Any carrots? We've definitely got lots of mottos. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh man, that'll make you smile, love. And the thing just disappeared. Mommy. Yeah. Look. What? Oh wow! Right. Since we've been away, our tomatoes have gone crazy. We've got loads of cherry tomatoes. Mommy, look! Oh, wow! And then these, I thought were chilies, but they actually. Not even a little bit hot. I think they're just yeah, they're just super sweet, like red peppers. Very really tasty red peppers, but not what I was hoping for. Yummy! Hey? Cheers. Or <laughs> <laughs> salty? Or salty? Is it salty? Yeah. Or sweet? And I've got. And spiders on it. No, oh dear, don't eat the spider, eh? <laughs> Taste it, Daddy. Yeah, thanks, Chris. I will. And it's not ready yet. Not ready yet, hey? Daddy, Daddy. Daddy. Tastes like red pepper. Daddy, that's yum, yum. not ready yet. That one's not ready yet. No, you're right. Chris has found the raspberries. Look! Wow! Oh. Are there any for mum and dad? Come on then. Are you going to eat it? Yeah. But I've always wanted to make like a natural homemade ketchup. Okay. So that was kind of my plan. Chris will like ketchup, won't he? Have you seen your world's biggest tomatoes behind you? They're getting big, aren't they, eh? Mm -hmm. Look at that. Yachty linen, I love it. <laughs> All right, while we're talking about those tomatoes, Yachty linen, this is literally the world's largest tomato. We'll tell you more about it when it's fully grown and we'll give you a good look too. But um, we picked up some seeds from, uh, from a seed merchant to grow the world's largest tomato. So we're hopeful that we're gonna have a ginormous one. It looks almost like a pumpkin at the moment. Um, Anyway, yattilainen, by the way, everybody. Here's a new word for everybody. Yattilainen. In Finnish, it means ginormous, huge. Ouch. Um, and when I was in Finland, as well as doing a few other jobs here and there, I used to work as a fisherman. And of course, a fisherman's favourite word is yattilainen. Mummy, look at an egg. An egg? Hey, thank oh, you, yeah. chickens. Whoa, have you seen what's in here? Yeah. No, no, look in here. It's not a watermelon, it's a butternut. So I'm tempted to think that this butternut should go yellow before you pick it, right? I would think so, yeah. So this has grown from a butternut that I threw onto the compost. I had no intention of growing this, but I'm delighted, obviously, because I actually, halfway through the season, I thought, oh man, I wish I'd planted a butternut. Um, no. but don't pick it, baby, leave him there, leave it there, leave it there. Um, and it's just grown, it grew out of the compost heap and part of me thought we should take it out because it's taking all the nutrients from the compost but like it's like the happiest but I mean it's literally gone everywhere it's almost going over the edge of the terrace and I think we're going to get at least four or five nice decent butternuts from it come in oh my gosh I'm so happy Where there's a big out? one here there's an enormous one hanging over here so that's three or oh, four. Oh my gosh. Well, we're up here for anybody wondering about what's going on with the pond that we dug um, with Mario and that new water source that we found um, a little bit earlier in the year. Well, the water source has dried up, that particular one. The other water source that we've got is still flowing nice and easy. And it's, well, we're well into August now, so we're pretty pleased about that. I mean, it has been raining every now and then. And of course, look, as you can see, we're still in the clouds this morning. So that, that all helps. It's quite green down there too. Um, 
What stopped this project is a whole bunch of other projects that we've got going on, including the outside kitchen. Um, also, we are unsure how we're going to line that. I think the original idea was we would get some kind of sponsorship from a company that makes the membranes, the linings, and we would put that in there and see how it worked out. Um, we haven't got that sponsorship yet. So um, if anybody knows a company that wants to help us out with that, that would be brilliant. Alternatively, it will probably wait now until next spring um, when we get some more time, more headspace to be able to, to work it out. Of course, we've got to finish the kitchen before we get back to this project. You're doing an awful lot of chatting and not a lot of vegetable picking. <laughs> I've got a poorly shoulder. Pick a cherry tomato. Well, yeah. Okay, here we go. That looks fab, doesn't it? Yum, yum. Mm. They are so sweet. They're good, eh? Huh? Mm. Well, I'm glad you like them because you sure have got enough of them to get you by. That is loads. It's loads, huh? Parmesan on the menu. Man, do you know what I wish we were doing? I wish we were time lapsing that cloud right now because in the time that we've just been having a chit chat up here, that entire cloud has cleared and it's gonna be a bright sunny day now. Beautiful, and we can take the jumpers off. I mean, how weird to be putting like a jumper on Crusoe this morning in August. Yum, yum, yum. Yum, yum. What was picking, Mama? These, my boy, are aubergines. Can you say aubergine? Aubergines. In some places in the world, they call them brinjal. Mm. Mm -hmm. Or eggplant. Or eggplant. This one's ready. No Grab it. Yeah. <gasps> wow. Like yes. Three different varieties of melon in this garden this year. I am endlessly proud of not just Tara um, for putting together this vegetable garden, but the help that she's got from Joao, um, the, the young man who lives next door. He's just, well, we say it almost every episode at the moment. We're so proud of him for helping us and guiding us um, and putting, helping Tara put this together. I'm also so proud of my young man Crusoe. Who could have asked for such an enthusiastic wonderful young man just running around everything's exciting to him everything he wants to try and taste and touch and smell and he's just into absolutely everything it's such a wonderful thing to watch um i'm sure you know most of you guys out there have been parents before i um, mean your children were probably very similar to that but it is it is a really special time i think to have this age kids running around and you know they're not fighting with you they just want to hear from you they want to learn from you and it feels really great anyway feeling very lucky right what have we got what we got money what there's a gentle wow. All the birds are making homes inside the evergreens The air is clear with our loved ones close You can pick out every star without a telescope So beautiful to see how we have changed In time Ring 
things in when I was gardening. Oh, yes. I'm not gardening at the moment because I thought maybe we could take them back to the house. Excuse me. That one's rotten. You can put that on the compost if you like. I get it. I don't know that chickens like onions. You can try. Right. Well, that's quite the haul. Courgettes, melons, aubergines, tomatoes, and onions. Please refer. Oh, look, before we go down to the deck, should we quickly have a, an ad break? Yeah, let's do yeah. that. Yeah. Um, so, big thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring this episode. We filmed this ad a few months ago when we were in the UK, so Crusoe looks really cute and small. But enjoy, and if you're in the UK, we hope you find it useful. You all know how much we love food, and especially good food. You'll also know how much I love to cook. Every now and then, it's so nice to cook a meal that's a little bit special. Something just a bit different. But my biggest downfall when the urge to get fancy hits is the supermarket. I head in for a few small bits to make a meal and inevitably end up with all the extras that catch my eye. And a whole bunch of special ingredients that don't end up being used and just sit in my pantry for years. Well, this is where the brilliance of today's sponsor, HelloFresh, comes in. HelloFresh is a food delivery service in the UK that delivers pre-packaged recipes and ingredients to your door. Perfectly portioned out with everything you need and nothing that you don't. Their premium range of recipes mean you can rustle up that little something special every now and then and at the same time you've saved money and time by not getting caught out by the supermarket trap. If you'd like to give HelloFresh a try for yourself then scan the QR code on your screen now or head to the link in our description. Use our code to get 60% off your first box and 25% off the next two months. Why not give it a go? I was just thinking about this greenhouse, like, <laughs> it's still not the best greenhouse, to be honest. It's, you know, it's all rickety and we made a few mistakes when building it. The instructions were dreadful. Mommy, mommy, but anyway, mommy, what I'm imagining, mommy, right? Mommy, yes, darling. Mommy, you want your animals? Yeah. I tried to make this feel like a little bit of Africa in here. So I've got my, like, African prayer flags and our gorgeous little peg dolls, which we were sent um, by Marilena and family. So... Um, I was just actually coming in to get those to take them back for the kids to play with because they're not they're not needed in here for me while I it's not really greenhouse season is it but when it is look already we have our seed onions ready and waiting we've got our first lot of bean seeds okay. from our runner beans which you have for us and then we're gonna he's while we were away cleared the fields of beans and we're gonna lay them all out on the roof of the adega and stomp them when are we doing that i don't know the next couple of days i think so okay. it'll be in an upcoming carry episode it, mommy, carry it. Carry okay it. i'll carry it i'll carry it yeah so that's really exciting because we're starting to collect things and i can just like i just had this vision of the beginning of the or in the winter and the spring spending days in this greenhouse planting seeds from vegetables that I'm picking today to plant. I mean, isn't that going to be amazing though? It will. Like, I can't wait. It's going to be like being reunited with old friends. I'll be like, oh, hello, patty pans, ready for another go kind of thing, you know? This, like, everyone said it would, but I didn't really appreciate it. So it's like having kids. Everyone says it's like the best thing ever and you're going to love it. And everyone said that about growing your own vegetables and stuff. But I didn't appreciate how much it would bring joy as it has. It's just, it's the best thing ever. And I'm so looking forward to this next year because Sawyer won't be so little and he'll probably be toddling and I can do so much more than I've been able to this year and really like work every day alongside Joao and learn, just keep learning and keep growing. And yeah, exciting. Let's go back down to the deck now. Um, and I'm so sorry about my arm. I'm hoping that it's going to be fixed really really soon i'm as fed up as everybody else is with that um because i'd much rather be building don't tell tara i'd much rather be building the outdoor kitchen than um picking vegetables up here um even though it's quite a nice job um but anyway earlier on i promised that we would go down and i'd give you some sort of an overview of my ideas what i'm planning for um, the outdoor kitchen, how it's going to look and where things are going to be. I've really been formulating these ideas in my head um, over the last few weeks as I've been building. So um, let's let's go back down there and let's have a quick look. I'll talk you through it. Brilliant. All right.
right, everybody. This is the plan. Hello, darling. All right, okay, yep. No, no, no. You haven't actually talked me through it again with it. You haven't actually talked me through it either. Okay, well. Thanks for the spring. Okay, um, <laughs> it's a really, really special location, this one. And we're very lucky because when we started building this project, or when I started putting some pieces of wood out and laying them down as a platform, I wasn't entirely sure whether we had the right location, whether it should be here or whether it should have been a little bit further over that way, or even up in the trees where ultimately the boys are gonna have their tree house. So what's the vision? Okay, first plan and the next plan will be to start working on that roof and get it all sorted and fixed up. I'm pretty settled with the idea of having it come over and then along, like I was talking about earlier on in the episode, but I also want it to come further out so it covers more of the deck area. The next plan will be to finish off those seating areas so that we can put some boxes there that'll store the cushions and the pillows. That's when it starts to get really exciting. Follow me. All right, these steps have got a destination. Okay, so the next stage of the project will be up here. The original idea was to put an L-shaped kitchen here with a bit of a roof over the top um, so that we can enjoy the view just down there. But I think it's not gonna quite work out to plan there. I mean, the reason for that is we've got a whole bunch of pine trees right here. They've all got their roots solidly in this soil. And I was thinking that the soil coverage over this rock was maybe that deep, a few inches, a few centimeters deep. Um, but it's actually quite deep here. We're going to want some sort of a platform here for sure. Big 10 seater table right here. That'll be fun. Huge. We can enjoy it. Imagine you step up from here, stick your legs underneath the table. You've got that beautiful view there. Oh man, it's going to be fab. Okay. So the kitchen, where's it going to go? Um, Joao um, and myself have already started clearing some of this soil off of the rock to see how deep it goes. We've got fairly good footing here, so I think we'll definitely be starting some sort of a build right here. And I'm thinking we have a kitchen somewhere here made out of stone and not wood. So we take some rocks like this and we start building a kitchen up like that. Love it. What I really want from the whole thing is for it to feel very organic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it just sort of fits into and the... And blends. And blends, yeah, yeah. For sure. I mean, if we've got a kitchen here, okay, we don't have that view to look at whilst we're cooking. But to be fair, we can keep an eye on the kids yeah. and cook at the same time. Yeah. And we'll have the view when we're eating. Love it. I think it's perfect. Is it? Yeah. Okay, brilliant. Love it. So we grow lots of tall flowers here as well mm -hmm. across. We make all of this, this whole area here into a flower border that's raised. So we're, it'll come up this high. Um, and so that'll soften the kitchen out even further, yeah. you know? Love it. Can you hurry up, please? <laughs> I want to, I really do. Should we go check if Sawyer's is awake? Let's go check. All right. Okay, that's well done, All right, um, that's enough chit chat and uh, I really want to do some work so i'm gonna go and try and find a few jobs that are low impact on the old shoulder see what i can get up to all right go and see what the boss wants me to do sawyer awake not yet not yet okay so my next plan yeah do you want to help yeah like he does in the veggie garden yeah okay anyway um, I thought I might cut up those cucumbers, scrape the seeds out. Crusoe is desperate for some melon. Cut that melon, get the seeds out of that. Okay. And get them all starting to dry up on the roof of the adega so uh, that we can start collecting our seeds. Yeah, okay. And so, so what can, am I going to do? You can help me cut and scrape. Okay, all right. All right, Mr. Ready for some melon. Is this an old melon or are we eating it? What's happening? We're eating it. Okay. So we're going to eat it, maybe we're going to put the seeds out. There's a lot of seeds there, eh? Hey? Yeah, I'm not sure that I got this 
<laughs> okay, is that good? Yeah, that'll do. How's your bag? Well, I've been abandoned. John's gone off to go and do some paperwork stuff. Crusoe's down at the sand pit and I'm all done. Coming, Sawyer. Where are you, little man? Oh, hello, my Hi. Did you have a good sleep? Was it good? <laughs> yeah. Hello, my darling. Love you. You've been asleep for ages. You've missed out on all sorts of things, but we'll catch you up. Don't worry, okay? Hey. Are you ready for some fun? Hey, there's your brother. Tomato jam making's been paused. This was requested that we spend some time at the sand pit. So here we are. And it's just amazing watching this little friendship develop. It makes me so happy. Um, a friend of ours has been helping us out with the kids um, a few days a week and it's literally changed our lives um, just for a few hours in the mornings, Monday to Wednesday. Um, and she actually helped put together this little kind of mud kitchen for the boys at the sand pit. And well, it's just a massive hit. They love it. So thanks, Liz. They're super happy. Such a nice space to come and hang out with them. I don't want them to notice that I'm filming. Delivery? What is it? What does that mean? Mm -hmm. They're going bakak. What does that mean? Um, 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 they speak English, are they? Mm -hmm. Are you sure they're not speaking Portuguese? Yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> right, the boys are now in bed after our little sandpit session. So I am going to give this tomato chili jam a try. It looks like the coolest recipe because basically it's just tomatoes, garlic, ginger, salt, pepper, maybe vinegar, I think. I'll double check. Anyway, I'll pop a link in the description if anyone else wants to try it because it does look amazing. You just whiz everything up in a processor, stick it on the oven and let it cook down for about 45 minutes and then you've got a jam. It's just a fridge jam, it's not one that you can kind of store for months on end. But it sounds so delicious that I reckon it's one of those things that you eat with everything. Oh, and chilies, of course it's got chilies. Now, as I was saying earlier, I can never find fresh chilies when I go to the supermarkets. But I did find these whole chilies. So hopefully they're warm, like heat-wise, temperature-wise, hot, you know what I mean? 
Um, anyway, so yeah, let's give it a go. That's spicy, love. Is it? Yeah. Yum, yum. It's going to be mega once it's cooked down. What is that it? Is such a cool recipe. It's tomato chili jam. So you okay. literally whiz that all together and then put it in a pot on the stove. I'm going to use my new pot and jam making things, which was very, very kindly sent to me by one of our patrons, Monique. So thank you so much. You know how excited I was about it. And I've been dying to have a reason to use it. This is going to be the first one. Can't wait. Also, by the way, I meant to say, the carrot top pesto that I made the other week, um, which I thought was a complete disaster, is actually delicious, isn't it, love? Yeah, yeah. It just needed a few days to kind of sit and settle, and now it's, I don't know, the, the carrot flavours come through and super tasty. So, sorry, carrot tops. I take it back. Anyway, next on our agenda, which we won't take you along for, is to go and film an ad. But I thought it was a good chance just to say thank you to all of you who support us by clicking on the brand links in our descriptions, by interacting with the brands who we work with, who sponsor our channel. It's one of the ways that we earn money to be able to keep doing this and to be able to fund our project here on the farm. So it means a great deal to us. And even if you're not ready to purchase, you just want to check it out, please always remember that just by clicking on the links in our description, you really, really help us out. That's it. That's it. Isn't it? I think that probably is it, yeah, for the week. Radio. Well, for the, yeah, for the week. For the week. Mm -hmm. So, um, what's next? What's happening on Wednesday? I'm not sure yet. Yeah, me either. Hopefully, my shoulder's feeling better. I don't think it will be. Mm, I, I hope it, it will be. I know. Yeah, because I want to be I building. I'm going to make him rest. If you think John should rest, please hit the thumbs up. Leave us a comment. Tell him to do so. Thank you for being here. Please remember to subscribe if you haven't already. It means so much to us and it really helps our channel grow. And we will see you on Wednesday. We will. With another update from the farm. Cool. Thanks, folks. Can't wait. See you soon. See you. Remember. Think big. Be brave. Think big. Explore. Who thinks that should be the other way around? Yeah, I don't know. Should be. Keep <laughs>